Hi, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you the Hoverify extension. Basically, this extension lets you inspect any element on any website and find the style that they use. So whether you're a web developer or a marketer that's trying to get an understanding on maybe how a landing page is coded, I think you will find this extension very useful. So I already installed the Hoverify extension and it's activated on this particular Chrome browser. And to access it, I just go up and select the little button up here, the Hoverify button, and it brings up this menu item. So first I'm gonna show you the inspect menu. We're gonna select something called grids. So I'm gonna to toggle that on. So this grid box displays all the layouts and grids on the page. So you can see how a site's structured. Uh, it lets you see the padding used and the alignment of each of the elements. So if it's a complex site or a complex web page, you can really see how it's structured and how everything's laid out visually. Likewise, I could turn that one off and just go to the guidelines. Let me toggle that on. This basically does the same thing, but it'll only show you those little red boxes uh, for the element that you select and the red, like the structure around that particular element. I'll toggle that off. Next, I'm going to scroll down. And as you probably notice, when I'm scrolling over these elements, this little pop up thing uh, shows up, a little pop up window. To lock that into place, I'm going to go to an element. In this case, I'm going to go to just this uh, article title here. I'm going to select it by just clicking it. And by clicking it, it locked in this display window or this informational window. So this has a lot of information in it. Up here at first, it shows you the color palette for that particular element. So these are the colors assigned to that element. And if you wanted to copy it, um, you could just simply select the color. And down here, you'll see it says copied. So it just copied that particular color, the hex code, to uh, the clipboard. So you could paste that and share it with others as you see fit. Next, it, it shows you the font that's being used right there, which is helpful. And then if I go down a little bit, it shows you all the details on the CSS that's used to style this element. So like the, the color, the font size, the font height, the text transformation, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of just really easy to see. If you scroll down even farther on this, it shows you all the pseudo classes like hover, focus, active, which is a great to be able to see this so easily. And then below that, it also gives you the media queries so you can see what happens on a mobile device, for example. So it's very handy how easily they give you all this information. Now, a great feature of this is not only does it show it to you, but you can also kind of like play around with this. Let's say this, uh, this font size, instead of font size 21, I want, I want to see what it looks like if we make it 30. Let me just slide this out of the way so you can see it better. So I made it 30 and as you can see, the font size got bigger. Likewise, I could change this color, just pick another hex color here, and that changed the color of that, so you can see what that looks like. And right now, the text transform uh, is set to uppercase, which means it automatically uppercases all the words in the title. Let's just uh, remove that, we'll just say none. And as you can see, it just proper case everything. So this is a great way if you're like a marketer and you're trying to like design or make changes to a particular landing page and you don't want to keep sending it back over to, to the developer to make changes, you can just kind of play around with this and see what it looks like. And the great thing is once you made these changes, up here, there's a little like copy icon. If I click that, I can copy the code or copy changes, copy selector or this the unique selector. Let's do copy changes open a notepad and paste it in and just drag this in. So this is what I just copied. So these are the changes we made to this particular element. So if you copy just the changes, it'll tell you what you made, what differences or changes you made. So you can pass this on to your developer or you can go into the code, the CSS and change uh, this stuff yourself. Another way you could do this is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna revert our changes here real fast. I'm gonna select this element again so it locks this pop-up window, but this time I'm going to click this little icon. This actually opens the code pin site. So this is taking that element and it's bringing over the HTML right here, as well as the CSS. And 
once again, you can go in here and make code changes and it'll change here. Now this particular element we selected, we just selected the title. I'm gonna close out of this. It says just selecting the title. Let's see if I hover over this, I'm gonna select this. So now it's gonna take that whole div. Now, if I go to code pen, it brings over that whole entire div so you can play around with it even more, which is a great little feature. And then you can make changes. And once again, you can save your changes and uh, like see all the elements that you changed. So I'm going to select this again. Does it show you another feature? So by default, this pop-up window is going to have everything in the CSS of the element that you select in one list of CSS as shown here. But you can see there are a few different classes and selectors. So if you click on this little icon right here, it changes the view to be all of the classes and all of the selectors and what style is applied to each. So it's a little longer, but it gives you a better sense exactly how this element is styled, which is super useful. I'm gonna close out of that. Next, I'm gonna click on this. This is the CSS box. So the CSS box lets you visualize the padding and the margins a little easier. If I hover over it, you can see this little green box around uh, this particular element. And you can see where there's margins and padding added. So once again, it just visually lets you see exactly how a site is structured. I'm gonna toggle that off. The next option is the fonts. So let me click on this. And the font button shows you which font each tag on the page is using. So if I scroll down, there's not a whole lot of variation in the fonts here, but still it lets you see, you can see exactly what each tag, what font that particular tag is using, which could be super helpful when you're trying to decide uh, what font to use for a different section. Next, we're gonna go to this edit pencil. And with this, I can actually change what's on the page. So let's say right here, I wanted to see what it looked like if I said, great camping gadgets uh, that you didn't know you needed and maybe a few explanation points. And you can just kind of like play around and you could edit anything on the page so you can kind of see how it looks. I'm gonna refresh the page to get rid of those changes. Next is the color palette. The color palette lets you see the color palette of the whole page in a visual way. So as you can see, I can scroll down here. This is every single color that's on the page. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot on here, but there's also images on this page. So it's pulling in all those image colors too. The next thing is the trash where you can hide or remove an element. So right now it's selected as hide as it's shown in blue here. So let's say, I, I want to see what happens if we don't have this element. I just click on it and it disappears. And likewise, I click on this and it disappears. So it's still there, but it's just hidden. Now I'm going to reverse out of that. I'm going to show you what happens if we click the remove option instead. So now I'm going to click on it and you can see that this element down below actually moved up a little bit. And if I do it again, you'll see it again. That's because we actually removed that entire element from the page and not, we didn't just hide it. So once we remove an element, it shows you how the rest of the page will, will be moved, so to speak, uh, since that element is no longer there. Look back out of that. The next is search. Uh, the search allows you to find elements through a tag name, ID, or classes. For example, if I type in like, I don't know, H3, it's going to show me every H3 tag that's on this particular page. The next two things is it just opens this dialog box. This one's for custom CSS. So I can actually add CSS code right here and it'll make a change to the page to see what that looks like. Next to it, it's actually custom JavaScript. I could add JavaScript to this page and it'll make changes and we can see what that looks like as well. So I'm going to close out of this menu item. I'm going to go back up to the Hoverify menu item, and next we'll look at the color eyedropper. Now we saw all the colors on the page, but on this one, if I select this pick color, and I just simply 
slide my cursor or my mouse, it'll show you what color something is. Let's say we wanted to figure out what color blue this was. Um, so it gives you the RGB and also the hex color. And no matter what you hover over, it'll show you the color. And if you want to copy it, you just simply click on it. And then right here, I have this copy option. So if I hit copy. That was just copied to my clipboard. So kind of a neat little tool to quickly find colors on a page. I'm going to go back up to um, the Hoverify icon. Next, I'll show you assets. So the assets basically shows you every single image that's on this particular page. Uh, both both images and videos, PDFs, SVGs, um, it shows it all. So within this, I can go in and I could download uh, this particular image. If I hit this, you'll see down here, it's downloaded. Um, if I hit copy, that actually copies the file name of that image. So you can, you can copy images individually or up here, if I hit save all, it's going to actually package all of this up down here. You can see it in a zip file. So it's kind of handy. This comes in handy if you want to, like, if you have a testing site and you want to pull down all the images that are on it, and then you could use it for the other site. Okay, refresh the site again. And now I'm going to go show you what responsive is. This is a very cool tool. It shows you how your site looks on a lot of different devices like the Galaxy, the iPhone. Um, and if you scroll down, it'll show you exactly how that page looks. And up here, you have the option of either having your phone, for example, be in portrait mode, or if I switch it over to landscape, it'll show you what that page looks like in landscape mode on that particular phone. This show frames, um, as you'll see, like this Galaxy S5, for example, it has like the little outline of the phone. If I take off show frames, it just removes a little phone outline. Let's exit out of that. Debug is a very handy tool. Um, if you're testing something on your site, uh, maybe it's a form, maybe it's a pop-up window, um, you know, like an opt-in monster pop-up window uh, or pop-up form. Um, but it, if it relies on cookies, you oftentimes have to reset or clear your cookies to keep testing your site out. So this allows you just to go in and you can clear out the cookies for this particular page for like the last hour, the last 24 hours and so on and so forth. And then if you just hit clean up, it just clears all the cookies. Uh, this debug also shows you the meta tags. It checks every single link on the page just to make sure it's a valid, you know, link that's getting the 200 response code, which obviously means it's a valid link and HSE, and also it has um, the spell check if you want to check spelling. So kind of a cool little feature there. The built with section actually makes a call to the builtwith.com site, and it just gives you information about this particular site, like the hosting information, the tech, like all the different widgets and tech that's being used on this particular site, um, even the DNS, uh, even the SSL cert. And finally, there's something called capture, which is basically just the screen capture. So if I, I could do the full page, which would actually uh, scroll down the screen and capture the whole entire page, I can select an area. Uh, if I have multiple tabs open, I can screenshot all the tabs at once. Or like, we'll just do visible parts. So if I click visible part, it's just going to take a screenshot of that visible part, and then I could save it if I wish to. So all in all, this is a great tool. And to get it, you just hop over to uh, tryhoverify.com. And I'm not at all affiliated with this, nor do I get any affiliate deals with this. Uh, I'm just a, a user of this, and it's just a great tool. So I'm just like recommending it to others. I think the current price is uh, $30 a year which is pretty affordable, and you get three activations. So you can put it on uh, different browsers. So for example, the browser I just showed you was uh, Chrome. But if I open a Firefox browser here, you'll see that it's also available in Firefox. So anyway, that's the Hoverify extension. If you have any questions about it or any feedback, just let me know in the comments. 
And thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.